Hey, we're live. Oh, it worked. Okay, so we were having some technical difficulties for a second, but I got you now. All right. We had, uh, I ran to the grocery store really quick and look what I found. Oh, ground beef, grass fed ground beef, $3.99. So, you know what that means? That means it's suddenly meatloaf night. It wasn't gonna be meatloaf night, but now it's meatloaf night. So, there you go. All right, so even though we're live right now, but if you're watching this on the replay, uh, you'll be able to see the links and the, um, I'll do a blog post later, but I can't do that right now because anyway, I'm like a one arm paper hanger this week, y'all. My kids are out of school, but one kid's in with my parents and the other kid's in driving class and he's got all kinds of stuff going on. So we're just gonna make this meatloaf and um, I'll show you how to do it real quick. So we're gonna put this in our KitchenAid mixer which is the bomb all right so here is it's called mama mia meatloaf y'all that's one of my favorite movies so it is i hope you've seen it if you've not seen it then go see it or you can't go see it because it's not in the theaters anymore but anyway just rent it or netflix it or whatever people do with movies nowadays all right so mama mia meatloaf is on page 214 of trim healthy table so trim healthy table go get it Mama Mia Meatloaf, page 214. So I won't be saying all the different uh, measurements and whatnot because, you know, this is their thing. All right, so, oh, there's no blade in there. Fiddle. All right, so this is what happens. You don't pay attention to stuff like that. All right, so we don't need the blade. We just need a little stirry thing, right? Right. All right, so there's that. And what you want to do first I have got over here in my KitchenAid mixer, I've got two pounds of ground beef, which was only $3.99 a pound, and um, one pound of sausage. It was just some sausage that was on sale. So, when I first, I gotta be honest with y'all, when I first look at stuff like this, all right, look how long that ingredients list is. So when I see something like this, and this is what a lot of people say with Trim Healthy Mama, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, those Trim Healthy Mama recipes, they're so hard. Blah, blah, blah. But if you look at it, I'm going to show you how to cut this down and to make it a lot easier and to make it sort of like we are drive through Sue. That's the kind of trim healthy mama I am because I don't like to do a lot of work in the kitchen. So anyway, so you're going to put eggs and it says to quarter an onion, but this is what I do when I get a bag of onions. I go ahead and dice it up and I put them in my freezer. So I don't even have bags of onions around the house. The minute I get an onion, I go ahead and I just dice it up and put it in the freezer. So there's our quartered onion. And then it says to do the garlic cloves. Well, I'm not gonna do garlic cloves, y'all, I'm sorry. So here's my garlic cloves. They come in a jar, half a teaspoon is a garlic clove. So you just do like that. See y'all, this is super easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it, seriously. All right, so then you're going to put in, um, okay, so <laughs> I don't know how everybody says that, but I say Worcestershire, <laughs> but I don't know if everybody says it the way I do, and I don't even know if I say it the right way or not, but anyway, Worcestershire. All right, so then you're going to put in parsley flakes, and my spoon's already wet now, so oh, I'm just going to kind of schlitz those in there like that. And then you want to get your mineral salt, like this. And so, y'all see, this is so easy. I mean, I'm really into these, like, dump recipes, you know, where you're just dumping stuff in. Because this whole thing, you know, if, I, if you see something on my Pinterest page and it says, saute this and chop this and do that, I'm not doing it. I mean, I'm just not doing it. It's not going to happen. So, got pepper, all this other good stuff in here. And I don't generally put as much pepper as anybody ever says to put. I just don't because I'm not loving all the pepper. All right, so then it says this kind of Parmesan cheese that says the powder kind, but I didn't have all, <laughs> I didn't have enough left. So, uh, I'm gonna put this in here and then um, these little Parmesan 
my mama gets these for me from Costco. They're Parmesan crisps. I use them as croutons on my salads, but I'm just gonna throw a bunch of them in there because whatever. Cheese is, more cheese is always better, right? If a little bit of cheese is good, a lot of cheese is better. So we'll just throw that in there. And then you're gonna put some bacon blend. So you can get that off their website and then it says you're just going to go ahead and blend this and I don't think it's going to take that much to blend this because it's really not that much stuff on there. But that should do it. Y'all, this is my Ninja. I love, 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 love my Ninja, y'all. All right. So we're going to put that right here and then it says to just put it and mix this with the meat, right? Yes, mix this with the meat. I've never made this, y'all, so. <laughs> I'm just as lost as everybody else, right? All right, so, I'm sorry I had to leave the screen, Mama. Um, anyway, so we're gonna throw this in here, and I gotta go pick up a kid soon, so I did not preheat the oven. It did say to preheat the oven, but I didn't. And then, here's one of my favorite parts. It says, um, don't even bother washing the food processor. It actually says that, so yeah, right. Don't even bother washing the food processor. Just keep on trucking. All right, so now we're gonna make the sauce. All right, so here's the sauce. The sauce, I'm using these diced tomatoes. Um, They've already got basil, garlic, and oregano in them, so I'm not adding all that stuff that it says to add, okay? So, I'm putting that in there. I'm putting the sauce in there. <coughs> and there's my message. All right, so then it says to use super sweet. I don't have super sweet made up right now, so I'm just gonna use two donks of stevia instead. So, there you go. All right, and then we're gonna put some onion powder. And y'all need to get this cookbook if you don't already have it, so that you can get this awesome recipe. And it says half a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna schmutz that in there. And then the garlic powder, we're gonna put that in there. I hope I didn't mix these two up. All right, see, after you watch me cook, nobody's gonna come eat at my house anymore. All right, so then there's the sauce. All right, there you go. Right? Making an absolute mess everywhere. All right, so it says, we're gonna mix this up over here. All right, now remember over here is our meat and then all that cheesy stuff that we put in there make sure it doesn't get all messed up. I just don't have, I'm 48 now, so I don't have the hand strength that I used to have. I don't know if y'all are experiencing the same thing as you get older, but I just can't stir up three pounds of meat and get it to be just right anymore, you know? Okay, you hear, my dog comes over here when he hears his mixer going, because usually I end up dumping something on the floor. All right. So there's that. And then it says to put half the sauce, process until smooth, half the sauce down into the, oh, okay. So put some sauce down in the bottom of the baking dish. Don't y'all love it when I don't practice something, sorry. Um, all right, so there's half the sauce, bottom of the baking dish, and then this was my Aunt Seal's baking dish, y'all. She was the bomb. She was my mama's aunt, actually, and um, 
She was just so cool. I could have sat and listened to her tell stories all day. All right, so there's half the sauce. Then it says, smooth the meat into a flat loaf inside the dish. Put the rest of the sauce on the top. All right, this is where it's going to get tricky because this is three pounds of meat plus all the stuff that goes with it. And I don't know how this is going to go, but it says smooth it into a loaf. I don't know how we're supposed to do that. Um, golly, this is like, all right, well, there you go. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Some of the sauce has schmutzed out the side, but that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna kind of make a little trough around the edge because I know this is gonna, this is some super lean ground beef, but I think it's still probably gonna do its thing. And then it says to put the rest of the sauce on the top. Is that what it says? Yes, the rest of the sauce on the top. All right, there we go. Ooh, y'all, this looks so good. I have made an absolute mess of myself. All right, so I'm spreading the rest of the sauce on the top. Then, <laughs> it says only put eight ounces of mozzarella cheese on the top, but we're not just gonna put eight ounces. I'm gonna put some more of that on there. We're gonna put way more than eight ounces on there. All right. So then, here comes the mozzarella cheese. All right. You gotta smell it and make sure it's still okay. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all, I've tried making these perfect little recipe cooking videos and I just can't do it. These people have got so much talent and you look at somebody like My Montana Kitchen. Y'all, she, you gotta go over to her website, mymontanakitchen.com. She has got this amazing chicken something, uh, chicken alfredo spinach, I don't know. It's it's amazing, and that's another thing I'm gonna try soon. And I'll do it like I'm doing this right now so y'all can see how easy stuff is. Because I feel like a lot of times if something is, I don't know, I just don't want it to be too curated. Does that make sense? And I just want y'all to realize that normal people can make this food. Not that I'm normal, mercy. But anyway, all right, so there's some cheese. And this is ready to go, right? Oh, Y'all, it's three pounds of meat. Oh, this is like a teenage boy heaven meal right here. And cheese on the top and everything. So, all right. Anyway, this is what it's going to look like, hopefully. I'm going to post a picture later. And um, we shall see. I hope y'all had fun. And next time, come over and we'll all do this together. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye.